We were at the Wit Hotel after the premiere, world premiere of Five Outs from the fine folks at Comcast Sportsnet. We have our host, David Kaplan, and you tell me your titles, executive producer, Sarah Locke, executive and producer. Ryan McGuffey. It's been a long night. It has they, been. You know, they, it's been a long couple they, of weeks. They shouldn't have that food and drink beforehand. That's the whole point. Yes. Yeah. Lather you up a little I, bit. I know Ryan McGuffey. Anyway. As the executive producers, how do you feel about the whole thing? Until tomorrow, not not good, but after tonight, better, for sure. I feel good. You know, it's, like, <laughs> like, it's like playing a game. If you leave it all in the field, let everybody else decide how you play. I think we left it all in the edit room. We did. I think it's all out there for everyone to see, and I don't feel bad about one bit of what we do. I think it's fantastic. Okay. Now, for the record, neither one of you is a diehard Cubs fan. For the record, David is. Big time. How, how did you feel after having seen this? Having lived through it and had you know some tiny, small part hosting the pre and post game around that team that year, um, it brought back bad memories. But to see what they were able to do with the countless hours in the edit room, and to see this story be told and have the chance to be on almost all the interviews. It, it, to me, it's absolutely five stars. Okay. This was rough. This is a 90-minute show. I think it's 70, technically 78 minutes. Long. Okay. Yes. So there's probably like 1,078 minutes that didn't make it? Yeah. Is, that, is that close? Yeah, you're yeah, pretty accurate. Are there parts that you wish you would have been able to include? Like when the extended cut director's edition comes out that we might be able to see? I think we kept extending it because we wanted to get everything in, to be honest. It started as a 30, it went to a 60, and now it's 78 minutes. So I think we got everything in. There's a few things Sosa said uh, that will air eventually that are unrelated to 2003, but uh, yeah, we got most of it in. Now, among the things I learned from watching this was Tom Brenneman's story about Josh Beckett after Game 6 being in the Lodge. Had you heard that one before? I had, now. When Ryan and I interviewed Tom, he was actually more eloquent before we even turned the cameras on, where he said, I went in there, and this guy had three or four beers into him, and three or four more later, and he said, it doesn't matter what I drink tonight, Tom, because here's what's going to happen, and then the story. Right. That one and the Michael Jordan story were two that Guff and I got done and high-fived and went, Wow. I think there's multiple times where we would high five after an interview because we learned something ourselves that we going in that we didn't plan on getting out of them. And it's not just Brennan, but there, there's very, Woody and the locked up back before game five. And the glove. The glove story from prior and Wood, the, the back and forth. And there's so many elements like that through, through different interviews that you would just be like, when they were telling it to you, you knew you had something that no one else had had. Was there any temptation to change the ending where the Cubs actually win the World Series? Well, this is a fever pitch uh. where uh, we shot an alternate ending and then they went in and ruined it by winning the World Series. So I think we were pretty safe knowing that this team wasn't going to win the World Series this year. So we may have to edit that ending hopefully sometime in the future. For the okay. David Kaplan, Sarah Locke, Ryan McGuffey, thank you all very much. Thanks, Elliot.